A physical fingerprint sensor uses capacitive proximity sensors to register your fingerprint. You never really see them anymore these days on flagships, but the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II is the exception. Ultrasonic is the latest from Qualcomm, only seen in Samsung devices with just a touch. Registering through sound waves, you can unlock your phone. The most common fingerprint sensor these days is the in-display optical fingerprint sensor. You see these in budget-friendly as well as flagship smart smartphones. They typically work by shining a bright light over your fingerprint and taking a digital photo. We're going to be testing out, of course, speed by using slow motion to see which one can get into the actual device faster. Well, actually the raw speed of the fingerprint sensor. And we're also going to be testing out reliability when it comes to using just regular dry room temperature fingers, as well as wet and oily fingers as well. I'm really excited to show you guys this test. It really fascinates fascinates me the different technology when it comes to built-in fingerprint sensors in smartphones. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go. We're going to start here with a slow motion speed test boot to see which one can get the fastest recognition time out of all phones. So far the optical was quicker than both the ultrasonic and the physical fingerprint sensor over here. Though sometimes you see the ultrasonic one on the Samsung show the actual entire contents of the screen first. It doesn't necessarily mean that the fingerprint sensor is fast over here. If you look at the OnePlus 8 Pro on the right hand side with the optical sensor, it is showing that the finger has already been registered before the phone actually goes into it. So yes, we may have a little bit of a quick quicker animation on the Samsung, but the actual fingerprint sensor speed is quicker on the OnePlus with the optical sensor. And this is why Samsung have reportedly decided that they will be dropping their ultrasonic sensor. Nothing is carved in stone just as yet, but it is a rumor floating around in the air. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but the physical one on the Sony has not been faster at all, though the ultrasonic in all fairness has only been faster than the optical one, one time, and the optical nine out of 10 times quicker than the rest over here, which is really interesting. And now we're gonna test out reliability with regular room temperature fingers. We're gonna do 10 over here, 10 tries, and see which one can do all 10 perfectly without missing a beat over here. So sometimes you'll put your finger on a fingerprint sensor and it won't actually register, but all three of you, physical, ultrasonic, and optical, get 10 out of 10 times. So no problems over there. Reliability test this time, this time with wet fingers. I'm gonna pour some distilled water in here, and I'm gonna tap my finger in the bowl each time before using each phone. And I am going to lightly dab it on a little tissue over here because honestly if you're in a pool you're probably going to dry your hand a bit but it's still going to be a little bit moist from the water so we're testing out this way not a soaking hand in water but more so a little bit of a dampness happening on your finger so far the ultrasonic and the optical both one out of ten the physical did absolutely nothing when it came to water on the sensor because it is a hardware physical fingerprint sensor it's not really going to work well with water so i highly doubt that will ever be possible so zero out of 10 there, but so far two for the ultrasonic and three for the optical, now four for the optical. The optical is actually working better with water, though Samsung actually stated ultrasonic you can use with wet fingers. Now we're gonna test out reliability with oily fingers. Yes, when you guys get deep into those grubby chips and snack on those KFC chicken wings, you're gonna have some oily fingers. Yes, you're gonna wipe them down with a tissue as well, but they will still be oily because oil just sticks to your fingers unless you actually give them a proper wash. So as I showed you over there, my index finger was oily and my middle finger was not. We're using my index finger over here so far, two for the physical, five for the ultrasonic and four for the optical. Remember they are all going at different times over here, so we can only really get the true result at the end of the test. Only ones where they were going at the exact same time was when we did the speed test and the reliability test. So 10 out of 10 for the ultrasonic, 10 out of 10 for the optical, and just five out of 10 for your fingers with the physical. So for the final results over here, 15 out of 40 being the worst for the physical fingerprint sensor on the Sony Xperia 1 Mark II. The best was indeed the optical scanner found on the OnePlus 8 Pro 
Pro with 34 out of 40. And right in middle ground there, the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor found on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra with almost half of the 40 points at 23 out of 40 points over there. Not all phones will be the same with the same fingerprint sensor. So if you splurge a tiny bit of money on a cheaper budget friendly phone with an optical scanner, the quality of that optical scanner may not be on par or quite as good as the high end optical scanner that you find on a phone such as the OnePlus 8 Pro. This is just for a general outlook between physical ultrasonic and optical scanners seen within flagship phones, but in the budget phone segment, they do use slightly cheaper fingerprint sensors. So keep that in mind when you do decide to purchase a phone. But overall, the optical sensor seems like the way to go. And I hope that more companies improve this as we go along. The most important thing I think is to make that sensor larger. If you could just tap your finger anywhere on the screen, it would make life a hell of a lot easier. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.